Everybody, thank you for tuning in to the IFFW Team YouTube channel. Once again, this is Michael Toltness, the Merlin of Avalon. And I'm back talking about blood over intent because, as I said in my previous video, blood over intent is what saves the universe. 144,000 my blood brothers and blood sisters who are publishing videos on their own YouTube channels trying to bring forth divine information through social media despite the fact that we get looked at as crazy and out of our minds for speaking about the holy grail that is located at the center of the flat earth plane where every compass in the world is being pulled we have gained the eyes to see through years and years of research, of paying attention, of putting forth this equity of blood, sweat, and tears so that we can earn the favor of our Creator because we are aware of the fact that we are inside of a consciousness matrix, that this elemental realm is conscious. Everything you see with your eyes is conscious. The air, the fire, the earth, the water, and the ether, this invisible element that permeates everything. It's a consciousness field, and everything that you say is recorded into this field. There is a book of life and the book of death. And both of these books are right in front of your face, but you can't see them unless you have the eyes to see and have gained them by spilling your blood over your written intention that you are here to bring forth heaven on earth. This is the new wave that is floating around in the ethers because we're inside of a firmament dome and we affect reality and we are in tune to the collective consciousness of the whole so if you throw us out of balance by playing games of undermining us and underfunding us and working in circles around us trying to monetize anything that we do then you are working against the revolution, you are working against the golden age, and you are an enemy of Matt. I have spilt my blood, as was requested by Mark Braun, who captured the elemental powers of Satan when he published his blood to the ethernet, the consciousness field saw him do this, saw him put up this spiritual currency from his own body that he stood before anyone who had an interest to listen, that he was here to bring forth heaven on earth and all of this elemental powers of Satan that were floating around inside this ether, any image or energy that you have come to mind when you hear the word Satan, Mark Braun captured all of that power and now it is his because he has been blessed with the spear of destiny. So as I said in my previous video, I do not bear false witness to those who have given this world a chance to 
overturn this totalitarian oligarchy, military, industrial, corporate, religious, government complex that has put you in a prison in your own mind through the propaganda and indoctrination that is forced upon the children from the government conformity factories that you dare to call educational facilities when it's tilted scales of blind justice and you're brainwashing the children, limiting their potential and permanently denying them of knowing any real knowledge of this reality teaching them that they live on a spinning, godless ball. So they are forever damned and trapped in hell, never having a chance to claim their birthright of eternal life, which is at the end of your compass needle because every compass in the world is being pulled to the center of the flat earth plane and this is where you will find the living waters of mother earth that are said to be blood red and have the stem cells of rejuvenation like this is the fountain of youth and when you bathe and drink in these waters it restores the youthfulness and the vitality of your body that is slowly aging and decaying in the entropy of time underneath the white whole sun that is connected to the black whole sun that is on the other side of the hole at the center of the flat earth plane so underneath our feet is where this land of perpetual twilight is located it's another realm and when you go through the hole at the center you will be in this realm that is above the waters and somehow there are beings outside of this realm looking in here part of this creative consciousness construct that we're in. It's like you're in virtual reality in your video games and your smartphone devices playing all these little digital realms of pixels on a screen and your brain and your consciousness are in these squared devices where they have attached to your eyeballs and are pumping information into your brain. So if you've ever played any video games, it's funny how your mind works because you know to run down this hall and go through this door and then run through this yard and then you find the item that you need in your quest but you're sitting on your couch and you haven't even gone anywhere and you don't know where you are and you're in a square building in a square block in a square city in a reality that has been squared where your time is broken down into blocks of 30 and 31 uneven days that has this monetary economic parasite attached to it so all of these payments are due on the first of the month and if you don't have enough money they're going to charge you interest so now you owe more money for not having enough money in the first place so you go broke and only the rich stay rich because you can't have rich people without poor people so they oppress you any way they can in a system that was designed to fail from the start to trap you in hell by these reptilian shape-shifting archonic shady lion shifty motherfuckers who are on notice that the 144,000 living souls are standing here in the flesh and we are taking back this reality right now. are that Satan is on earth in the flesh and that is Mark Braun so you need to get to his channel immediately for truth and go and watch the videos that he published several years ago now because 
in the time frame of the Gregorian calendar, which is a virus that was imposed upon you and a square infiltration. Because time is not a square, it is a spiral. And I don't mean to shout and scream, it's just that the universe is speaking through me because I am in tune to Lucifer right now. And the Creator is not happy with the situation at hand because you are trapped in hell, you are legally dead, and you are lost at sea. And we are the only ones, the 144,000 living souls, who have placed our names into the Book of Life by spilling our blood over our written intention and publishing it to the Ethernet to gain a witness are the ones, we are the only ones, who are in tune to God. And we do not bear false witness to those who brought forth this information to this realm. And we stand blood thick, side by side, blood thicker than water, and we become this united force where you can attach to this intention, which is we are here to bring forth heaven on earth by any means necessary. This is not a game, this is real life. And it's by the book. Every leader in the world swears on the Holy Bible. The church and the government are not separate entities. They are the same entity operating in different buildings and wear different uniforms, but behind the scenes, the power structure is divided into compartments of the military, industrial, corporate, religious, government, totalitarian, oligarchy that has put you in a prison in your own mind and you can't see it and you just think it's business as usual but we are here to inform you otherwise because this is the end of days you will join us in blood or you will expire of your own stupidity the angel of death is real the only way have the angel of death pass you by is to place your lamb's blood on your door which is your own blood you must spill a drop of your own blood and it was said if you spill three drops of blood it sets up a triangle three-point sacred geometrical wave and it should amplify your blood magic but it's the point that the life is in the blood. Your blood is the most powerful substance in your body. Without blood in your body, you're dead. If you get cut and you lose too much blood, you're dead. You will die because your organs will fail and your body will cease to operate and your soul will detach from the earth and clay vessel and it will drift into spirit land which is in the ether field that's all around us and it's not really heaven because you're inside of a firmament and there is a light in the sky but it's a false light but it's the moon and it looks so bright and it will suck your soul in like a succubus tractor beam and your memories will be erased and you will be reincarnated as an infant when you get attached to a sperm and an egg riding that wave and you will form a new 666 carbon cell body in your mother's womb for nine months until the sack breaks the water doesn't break the sack does and the water will spill out from your mother's vagina and you will come into this world covered in blood and water you will have your umbilical cord cut and if you're in this corporate world where the hospitals sign birth certificate contracts and are paid to do so and steal your blood and hold it in the Vatican 
taking your life force currency against your will when your parents signed you into slavery and you only had seven years to claim your citizenship but you were marked down as lost at sea because you're only seven years old and you're trying just not to die because both your parents are working trying to make enough money on time to pay rent, to pay taxes, to pay for the ever increasing cost of food that is loaded with chemicals and pesticides and additives and real food is this rare thing and it's always expensive because it's organic and it's $50 for a basket of raspberries so you're trapped in hell and money is this power to the system which is a virus it operates with the calendar which is a square virus your reality has been squared you have been put in a box and it's on your head and it's the square mortar board hat that is tilted and you have no idea of where you are in reality until you meet Mark Braun and the 144,000 living souls, my blood brothers and blood sisters who are here in the flesh taking this reality back right now.
intention of this message is to stand blood thick with the 144,000 living souls and Mark Braun, who literally captured the elemental powers of Satan and stole them from the universe. And in this process, the book of life was opened. And we now have the potential to claim our birthrights of eternal life by getting to the center of the flatter plane to drink the living waters before we get old and expire of old age or stupidity. It's that we are underneath the firmament of God. And this is something that you cannot escape. If you want to see the firmament, go outside and look up. That blue crystalline dome above you is like the amniotic sac that you were in inside of your mother's womb for nine months while your body formed in the sacred geometrical golden ratio where the vesica Pisces of one cell divided into the many that you're trapped in, your 666 carbon cell body, and your soul is fused to your spine along the ley lines of your chakra aura system. The energy field that is your aura is your soul, and you are fused to this elemental realm of air and earth and fire and water and ether but you were never really taught about these elements especially consciousness and the definition of being conscious is to be aware that you're aware and then that basically starts to put your mind into a state of hyper awareness or you can now be aware that you are aware and you start seeing the reality around you where you use both of your eyes and you can see that the sun above you is moving and the ground is clearly fixed and stationary that water always runs downhill and seeks its level proving that you are on a flat and geocentric earth the globe is as dead as your soul and if you don't come to grips with reality real quick your name is going to be sealed into the book of death where it is already placed by default because where you stand right now is in the land of the dead you are legally dead you are lost at sea and you are trapped in hell and you have no way home unless you meet one of the 144,000 living souls or Mark Braun who holds the Spear of Destiny and we stand side by side blood thick at the round table of Camelot because we have gone to the mythical island of Avalon to have our hearts restored to gain the eyes to see and ears to hear that the Holy Grail is real and we need to get there in the flesh before we die of old age or stupidity this mythical living waters has been there your entire life but nobody was going to tell you you have a virus that can be identified as this reptilian archonic totalitarian oligarchy military industrial corporate religious government complex and you are so badly infected with this virus in this matrix that your reality has been squared you have been put in a box the square mortar board hat at graduation is a symbol that you have been capped and you're not getting any more knowledge and you will stay in that box until you get old and die for your best definition of success is saving for retirement and dying comfortably i want nothing to do with that reality because i can see that eternal life is our birthright and the way to get it is through blood over intent because that is what saves the universe 
your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. It is your royal water, and it is coursing through your veins, and it is that the life is in the blood to make atonement for your sins. And this whole realm that you're in is an altar. And when you write out your intention, which is a living energy, and put your DNA, your royal water, your blood over this intention and publish it to the ethernet and gain a witness, you are literally altering the chorus of reality. And when you attach to the intention to literally bring forth heaven on earth, you are attaching to the most powerful wave in the universe that is backed in blood by Mark Braun and the 144,000 living souls. We are here to fix the virus of time and money and to release you from the bondage of the chains that are holding you hostage to the limitations of getting old and dying. Nobody is supposed to be dying. The Holy Grail has been there your entire life and all you have to do is bathe and drink in the living waters and connect to the consciousness of the mother goddess of this earth.
thoughts and talk for all these demons. Wish I could just go on.